I'm Leah Nickens, and I'm the Commander of Troops for the Field Operations Academy. It's amazing to see the transformation that happens in our trainees from day one to day 89 when they finish their training program. They start on day one in civilian clothes. Some of them have never marched before. Some of them have never been in a chain of command before. So it's a brand new world for them. And to see them mold into officers and become that polished, finished professional officer on day 89 when they graduate is incredible to see. During those training days, we work to instill that discipline in them to get them from point A to point B to the finished product with a lot of hard work and perseverance on their part and on the part of the instructors. We instill in them not only the, the things that they need to do, but also the motivation that they can do it, that they are capable. A lot of times they come in, they've never marched before, they've never done an about face before. And so to instill in them not only how to do it, but that they are capable of doing it. Working here in Southeast Georgia, we have a lot of natural phenomenon that kind of helps in our training. We've got the heat and the humidity that they have to overcome and maintain discipline while they are working out in it, sometimes for one to two hours during our trainings, especially during marching, because we do all of that outside. We also have this lovely thing called the sand mat that will eat at you from morning until night when you're outside. They will attack you almost like mosquitoes if you've never been here. And they have to maintain the position of attention, not moving, not doing anything, not swatting the gnats until we tell them otherwise. So that instills in them an added layer of discipline. So when they get out into the field, they know how to persevere on that 16 hour shift when they're exhausted, they can still push through knowing that, hey, I've done this before, I've overcome other things, I can overcome this too. I got into drill and ceremony back when I started at the academy. That was my first experience and introduction to marching and I loved it. The teamwork that it instilled, the personal motivation and discipline that it required really resounded with me. And so when I got back to the field and started working in my job, I quickly joined the honor guard, loved being part of that, part of that team, loved being able to serve people in that manner. And when I got here to the academy, it just seemed like a natural progression to get involved as a drill instructor. And then when the commander of troops position came available, I thought, wow, this is a wonderful opportunity to affect and instill that discipline in new trainees that are coming into the job. Take up your block and follow me. Take up your block and follow me. 507 CBP. 507 CBP. Hey! Let's rock your legs. You got it. Let's rock your legs. You got it. Let's rock your legs. Right on it. Bump, 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 bump it up.